So we have one really huge problem on the farm. We don't have what would be the cheapest source of electricity on the farm. That's hydroelectric power. And the most annoying thing is that it is agonizingly very, very close to the farm. Less than 100 meters away from the property. Unfortunately, even with that short distance, we can't have it on the farm because of some reasons. And because of that, we have to use other sources of energy to power things on the farm, like this electric fence that we have. Of course, it's not powered currently. That's why I'm able to touch it. And it's a really, really tough job powering the entire farm. Whoa, it's so tough. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Daniel over here, and this is Farm Up. I run two farms. One of them is a rather small scale poultry farm that I started about two years ago. It has around 670 chickens right now. The other one is this farm. This is a really huge farm, around 400 acres. We have some cattle over here. These are calves. There is goats on the farm. There is sheep. There is lots of chickens. And on Farm Up, it's all about learning and growing our farming passion together. Offering all the best information about poultry farming and for your enjoyment. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, come on, what are you waiting for? Just smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you never miss out on an upload. And don't forget to hit the like button. So guys, we have free grid electricity, hydroelectricity, very close to the farm. Very, very close. It's actually agonizingly close. It's some distance that way. Now this distance right on the farm is about a whole kilometer. I won't walk a whole kilometer just to show you guys what three-phase electricity looks like. You guys understand what it is. The usual hydroelectric power. The problem is getting the electricity onto the farm just a hundred meters away is so damn expensive. I just don't understand why it's this expensive. I don't know if it's just our farm or everyone else. If you have to pay all this amount of money just to get electricity close by. Anyway, whatever the goal is, I don't understand. The thing is that they have managed to make us not have hydroelectricity on the farm. For now, you know, for now we just can't get it onto the farm. We've had to use other alternatives. Now guys, we use electricity for quite a number of things on the farm. We have quite a high population of people on the farm. You know, lots of workers, since there is lots of construction going on. And almost all these people actually have phones that they use, that they need to charge and things like that. We pump a minimum of 20,000 liters of water every day, consumed by the cattle on the farm, the goats, the sheep, the human beings, the chickens, the water that's needed to water some plants when it gets really dry. That's over 20,000 liters every day. And that has to also get pumped all around the farm. And that too also needs electricity for pumping. A refrigerator to keep our drugs and vaccines. And of course some food, you know, some fruits. But more importantly, the vaccines, you know, for the chickens because they need to be kept quite cool between two and eight degrees. And this is Uganda. We are at the equator. Our temperatures at this point sometimes get to up to 34 degrees Celsius. So this is definitely necessary. Right here we have a spray for spraying and disinfecting the goats, sheep and cattle. Getting rid of the ticks and all parasites that infect them on their skins. And then because there is lots of construction going on around the farm, we have lots of machinery that actually needs to use electricity. You know, lots of things like cutting timber, so the woodwork, drills, and everything that's needed for building, you know, mixing the concrete and the cement. A lot of those things need power, some form of power, some form of electricity to drive them all. All that causes us to have to consume lots and lots of electricity on the farm. So in order to solve these electricity problems, we've had to go solar yeah of course you knew you saw that coming guys we've had to install solar panels all over the entire farm and that has its positive attributes and negative attributes of course the other thing is that we've had to also use diesel and a generator because with everything that we use electricity for there's just no way the solar would be enough for us of course it can be enough but we would have to install too many solar panels and that would just be too expensive recently i've just been breeding chickens and lots of you guys saw me using rather you know old-fashioned methods like using charcoal for heating up the chicken house and you could probably have thought 
why the hell didn't you use electricity why didn't you use bulbs and things like that but guys those bulbs are around 250 watts each and we would probably need to use around 10 of them that would be too much electricity for us to burn and we just don't have that amount of electricity on the farm we don't have that much you know solar on the farm and then running diesel all throughout the day and the other day for the generator would also become too expensive but the solar panels are actually quite sufficient currently they are good enough for us to use you know when it's bright and shining like today it's been bright and shining we don't need to use lots of the generator so it's enough to provide for us enough power for the lights power you know to keep the fridge for the drugs power to do some of the basic things around and then if we need extra power for example when we need to spray the cattle spray the goats and sheep because we're going to be using the pump or their particular other water pumps on the farm then we switch on the generator so when we are spraying then the solar batteries actually recharging themselves and then that way we have power to actually take us through the night the other thing is that we've also installed dedicated solar panels for some of the places for example one of the water pumps is run completely by solar and that's just enough for it and then we have the chicken house the main chicken house you know we needed light for brooding and the light needed to be very very dependable because in case the power goes off the chickens get startled they get scared they could suffocate to death so in order to avoid that we also had to install solar panels on top of the chicken house in order to support the chicken house and yes guys we've also had to you know burn charcoal <laughs> because we had a lot of wood and timber around that lots of logs that were not being used and you know they had been cut down and they're not being used they had been here for quite some time we decided that you know we need power for cooking that's it how on earth are you going to cook for you know 30 40 people it's just impossible to use electricity with the power problems we've had so we had to burn charcoal we had to burn charcoal as you guys can see in the background and so we burnt a lot of the wood that was around and we made charcoal sometimes we actually just use firewood for cooking some quick things and that helps us in that you know sometimes we get to save the electricity and get to save the power and i know a lot of you guys are also going to tell me about biogas i hope that's what it's called you know um getting the cut-off feces the cow dung and putting them in a decomposer a tank in order to get the gas that's something that we're actually going to be working on we already have the tank around it had been dug by the previous farm owner but it hadn't been maintained so we need to actually work on it to get maintained in order for us to be able to use it otherwise which other sources of power do you guys think you know we can use honestly at some point you're going to have to get electricity you know the hydroelectric power on the farm because as you guys know we have chickens we have parents talk and that means at some point we're going to have to incubate lots and lots of eggs and that's going to be big incubators running day and night and it's impossible to use electricity or generators for all that we're going to have to get in the hydroelectricity and just use the other things you know as backup so despite the expense hopefully with time as more money comes in we shall be able to afford and pay for all this electricity but which other methods do you guys think we can use you know to just get enough electricity on the farm i know there's lots of geniuses watching my channel so please just let me know i'd be very very grateful otherwise thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button lots of love catch you very soon with another video bye bye